Oh, he's cute. You want me to pick him up? That's up to you, honey. We've got David Hudson right now. Uh, we're in the middle of... Honey, hurry. You want me to bring him hurry. back to the car? Hurry. No, just take him across the street. Honey, shut the door. You, you're going to run across the street. All right, we are in rural Mississippi, and uh, there's a turtle trying to cross the road, so the wife is going to help him across. Yes, over there, honey. <laughs> <laughs> because there's some traffic on this road. We don't want to hang out here forever. In 8.5 miles, turn left onto Walnut Street. Thank you, Australian Siri. Yeah. All right, that's good, honey. You got him. He's across the road now. He's feel better? Of, he's not slimy at all. Let me take a picture of him. All right, she's going to take a picture of him. So she just took a picture of him. I'll, I'll put that picture on my Instagram for fun. <laughs> Do you feel like you did your good deed for the day? Yeah, but he won't stick his head out. He's afraid of me. Yeah, he's scared. We have to drive away. He'll be fine. We need to, we need to name him now. Uh, you can name him. Uh, I guess he's trying to head over to those fields over there. That's the best I could get, look. That's a pretty good picture. <laughs> anyway. That was, All right. cute. that was cool. I got him off the highway. Yay. I saved, I saved a turtle today. You did. You saved a turtle. <laughs> today. I am in Rolling Fork, Mississippi. Uh, you can already see, wow, if you read the news or you keep up with the news, you know this town was hit hard by a tornado uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, I actually shot a video here last November 6th, Ooh, oh my goodness, you know you read about this and you think just how bad can it be? Uh, it's bad. Anyway, I had um, shot a video here last November. It was one of the small towns I visited here in Mississippi. And I remember coming here. It was, it was the last town on my list to visit. And I almost skipped it. Because, uh, you know, the video was getting long. And um, I was tired. But I went ahead and came in here and shot a quick video because this town has a, a lot of interesting history. Um, so here I am uh, to see what it looks like. I remember driving down the street last November. It, it sure didn't look like this. Anyway, I'm going to... Um, go to the spot where I began the video uh, last November and I'm going to show it to you real quick and then I'm going to show you <laughs> the same drive today. Wow. Uh, you just think how terrifying a night it was for those people. We were actually in Mississippi that night but uh, quite, a, quite a bit up north we were in Olive Branch which is a, a suburb bedroom community if you will of Memphis and uh, it rained really hard I mean it was coming down but um, we didn't get any tornadoes there's the county courthouse um, so um, yeah, why don't I drive through here? Yeah, I remember all this. I remember driving through here as I looked for a good spot to um, begin the video. Yeah, there's part of downtown. Let's see, I think I can go in this direction and get where I need to go. Man, it's really 
bad. That bridge looks a little rickety, doesn't it? But people are driving across it, so yeah, I'm going to as well. Yeah, when I made my drive into town, I went there, and I'll show you the video here in a second. Uh, it looks very different. Wow, I got the downed power line here. Uh, let's see. Man, something, isn't it? You can see it over there in the distance. The sun's kind of uh, facing the camera, so you might not be able to see it that well. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me turn around here. Okay, so this is where I started the video in Rolling Fork. I remember uh, pulling over right here. Uh, downtown is right there, and I thought, well, I'm just going to drive into downtown, and I'll tell you about Rolling Fork. Uh, I'm just going to do the same now, but here's the original video first. It's got a couple claims to fame here. The town does. But we'll start with the population. In 2020, there were 1,883 people. Peak population was in 1980, when there was just shy of 2,600. So the town is, uh, like all these others, steadily losing population. Um, property level is better here, 16.9%. Median household income is 37500 uh, Home value in, or the average home value, according to the U.S. Census in 2020, was 74000 I couldn't get an average, but I did find two houses for sale here. Uh, one was 42000 the other was 125000 so I guess that would be about an $80,000 average. Anyway, I'm going to get out here and show you something real quick. Because like I said, the town has two very, very interesting uh, claims to fame. Alright, uh, so I'm just going to make that same drive, or attempt to. Um, I'm not going to be able to uh, completely do it because well you'll see in a second yeah yeah see in my original drive I went straight down the street but um, it's blocked off now so I'm gonna see if I can park somewhere and uh, walk over there Basically, uh, the courthouse is over here, and that's where I went to tell you about um, the two residents, or not residents, but people who really shaped this town. Uh, but that, I'll do that in just a second here. Let's see, road closed. Yeah, I can't go up there. There's the county courthouse. Let me see, uh, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna attempt to find a place to park and uh, get out on foot. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, I'm out on the street. And like I said, I drove this way in uh, Bronco. Looks totally different now. Uh, anyway, I drove over here to this county courthouse. Yeah, you can see it here. Okay, uh, the police officer there told me I had to not be in there, leave the area, but he said I could come over here. So, well, I'm here right now. Anyway, uh, when I did the original video, yeah, I drove through here. Yeah, look at all this. It's like this Coke machine was just flung <laughs> thrown here uh, anyway yeah so I drove 
this way past this courthouse and uh, came over here so that's where I'm gonna go right now now in my original video I pulled up into the parking lot there and parked and got out on foot so uh, here's that section of the video all right well first up you see a bear there uh, look at his glasses and a mustache kind of looks like uh, Teddy Roosevelt doesn't it this town is where the teddy bear originated in 1902 Teddy Roosevelt came here to hunt with a hunting party and uh, there's another bear over here I'll go take a look at it anyway they were hunting and uh, some of the members of his party caught a bear tied it up and asked the president Theodore Roosevelt if he wanted to kill it he said no uh, he said that would be unsportsmanlike and he's right so the bear became famous it became known as Teddy's bear and uh, shortly thereafter a store in New York City uh, created a teddy bear started selling them and as you know the rest is history anyway yeah you remember seeing that big teddy bear wooden teddy bear he was right here uh, the one across the street is still standing as is um, the Rolling Fork Police Department that building survived but yeah you got uh, one of the bears still here how cool is that now in addition to Teddy Roosevelt the other famous person from here is Muddy Waters so here's that part of the original video this town has a second claim to fame that is this is where Muddy Waters is from a legendary bluesman who electrified blues music he is one of the fathers of rock and roll now there's some uh, disagreement as to where he was actually born uh, was it here in this town or nearby in a place called Jugs Corner but Muddy himself says that he spent a lot, a lot of time here as a kid. Uh, eventually he ended up in Clarksdale, uh, another town I've done a video for. But anyway, he is uh, one of the most influential musicians in modern history. Uh, a lot of huge musicians and bands cite him as inspiration. Uh, Beatles did, Rolling Stones did. In fact, the Rolling Stones named themselves after a Muddy Waters song uh, called Rolling Stone. Muddy Waters was in the second class in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987. Uh, anyway, this is a replica of the shack that he grew up in. And you can hear the music in the background. That's Muddy Waters. Uh, apparently, they play his music here all the time, which is cool. But anyway, yeah, this is supposedly what he grew up in, something very similar to this. Uh, it's a replica. I do know that. I don't know if we can go in or not. Probably not. No, but we can look in the window. Yeah, he grew up in something like this. Very small. So, wow, this little town, that's a lot of stuff. A lot of amazing history for a town this little. Birth of the teddy bear and the kind of birth of the guy who basically created rock and roll, rock and roll music. So this is where the replica of the shack that he lived in as a kid was standing. Right there. It's long gone it looks like. So, wow. Have a little bit more of the devastation. I, uh, I think that was the water tower right there, middle frame. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's good to see that some of these Rolling Fork Roosevelt bears survived. Here's one. Like I said, there are quite a few of them scattered throughout town. 
carved by Dayton Scoggins Chainsaw Woodcarver in uh, 2014. Alright, well, let's see. Uh, downtown is right there. I'm just going to kind of cruise down a street or two. Show you the devastation. It's pretty bad. Uh, the house is on this street. Yeah, they're destroyed. Next street over too. I don't know if you can see in the distance there. They've got the road cleared. A lot of trees were pulled up. That is evident. There's the other side. Can't see that as well because of where the sun is. But anyway, here, let me show you over here where you can see. You know, I said this earlier, but can you imagine? What a terrifying night that must have been to be in that house, for instance, right there. here thank all who have helped us God sent help when needed amazing look at that house that house pretty much survived it Wow gas station was wrecked it looks like downtown over there police are everywhere I'm assuming to stop looting well okay guys um, this is going to be a multi-town video, so uh, I'm going to head out, head out to the next town. You see the blue dot? That's the Mississippi River, right to my left there. Jackson is the capital city of Mississippi. You can see Memphis up north, Little Rock north and to the west. All right, everyone, I am arriving in the town of Leland. Leland, Mississippi. Now, 1980, this town had just shy of 6,700 people living here. Today, there are a little under 4,000. Uh, the town has lost a lot of population. Some of the other numbers to help paint the picture of the town. Let's see, gender breakdown, 54% female, 46% male. Race breakdown, 67% black, 27% white, 3% Hispanic, 3% other slash mixed. It's a big beautiful house right there. Let's see, per capita income, $29,400. That's $565 a week. Median household income here is $40,600. That's $780 a week. That's not too bad. 
for a town where the cost of living is uh, going to be really low. Poverty is high, like all these Mississippi towns. 23% um, here, U.S. average is 12.8, so that's about twice higher. Children 17 and under, it's a little higher, 35%. Now, as I go into downtown, I'll give you the crime numbers. Crime is not bad, lower than the national average. Overall, 19 incidents per 1,000 people. U.S. average is 23. Violent crimes, a little higher, 2.8 per 1,000. U.S. average is 3.9. And then property crime, 17 per 1,000. U.S. average is 20. Now, let's see, with all that said, I should tell you guys that one of the most famous individuals who has ever lived, hold that thought, look at that old theater, I just caught that, but that was amazing in its day. Okay, one of the most famous individuals who have, has ever lived was born here. Now I'm, I'm not exaggerating. When you say this person's name anywhere in the world, everybody knows who it is. You can be in Africa, you can be in Europe, you can be in Australia, doesn't matter. They know who this person is. I'm gonna go to that person's birthplace here in just a minute. Well guys, are you ready for me to reveal the famous person born here in Leland? This person was born right here. Right here on this river. Actually, let me correct that. This person was born in this river. Yes, this person is Kermit the Frog. That's right. Kermit the Frog was born a tadpole right here in this river crawled out on the banks as a frog and went on to worldwide fame. This is his birthplace. Yeah. Not really. Uh, Jim Henson was born in nearby Greenville. I'm going there next, by the way. But he grew up here in Leland. And uh, he created Kermit the Frog right here in this town. So I'm gonna go take a look inside here. All right, I'm inside the uh, little museum. There's no charge for admission, but you can donate, which I did. I threw in 10 bucks. Uh, yeah. This is the scene from the movie, the Muppet movie, where Kermit sings Rainbow Connection, uh, right here in Leland, in the Mississippi Swamp. It's a great song. Looks like they have some uh, pictures of Jim Henson when he was young, a young boy. Hmm. Birth certificate of James Henson. There we go, that's better. That's pretty cool, huh? Old. Yeah, 
it's a little place, but it's pretty awesome. Well, all right. I, I'm not gonna lie, I've always wanted to come here. I'm a big Jim Henson fan, so it's pretty exciting for me. Well, let's go look around the town a little bit more. Let's see, I'm heading back into downtown. Uh, this is Rainbow Connection Bridge. Thought I'd show you that real quick. That's pretty nice. All right, let's see. Leland is on the Blues Trail. We've got a placard here. I want to check out real quick. Corner of 10 and 61. Major source of income for blues artists in the first half of the 20th century was tips. This corner, formerly the intersection of highways 10 and 61, was a profitable spot, particularly on Saturdays when people from the country came to town. Passengers on the planter, a train that ran daily from New, or uh, New Orleans to Memphis, also stopped here to eat dinner and be entertained by Delta musicians. That's pretty cool, huh? Another look at the downtown over here. Now oh, they got a big blues mural here. Let's take a look at this. If I get my window to go down, that's pretty incredible, isn't it? more downtown as I head towards residential. You think that's still open? Packaged liquor. No, it's closed. Oh, what's this? Absolutely no loitering, no weapons. You must be 21. Looks like it's closed now though. Uh, this place too. World famous Richmond Leland Bar and Lounge. Yeah, it looks, uh, I don't know, it might be open. Who knows? Hmm. Now let's drive through downtown here. Well, they had a bunch of places at one time where you could uh, listen to some music, it looks like. Uh, they're all closed, but let's see. Must be 21, ID required. Boss Halls. Yeah, that's not open, though. That's clear. Well, and then uh, you see some... Hardcore Decay. This building here is disintegrating. I wonder what happened there. A lot of interesting stuff over here though. Wow, that is so cool. Now look at this here. U.S. Post Office. Used to be, anyway. Got some great old architecture here, though. Bank of Leland. Let's take a look down here. Yeah, with a huge population loss, you expect to see some of this. But right across the street, now yeah, you see this. Beautiful home. Spring has Definitely sprung, hasn't it? 
believe that is abandoned. And this one too. Pretty good shape though. Those houses could be fixed up. The street itself is beautiful. Not everything is so green now. Well guys, tell you what, uh, I can already tell this video is getting long. So I'm gonna head to the next town, one last town, uh, Greenville. All right, everyone, I am in Greenville, Mississippi. Speaking of Mississippi, that's the Mississippi River. Uh, they've got a casino here. Drives the economy, I'm thinking, or at least partially does. Driving al along this, I guess you would call it a flood wall. To keep the river from flooding the city. Now the city is right here. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Peak population was in 1990. Uh, there were over 45,000 people here. Today there are a little over 29,000. Uh, that's 16,000 people approximately. Uh, this, so the city has lost a significant amount of population. There's a downtown right there. I'm gonna drive into it. Give you a look-see. Uh, median age here is 39. Okay, I'm just gonna drive this way and then I'll tell you more about the town. Anyway, yeah, another good look at the Mississippi. Let's see, uh, gender breakdown, 54% female, 46% male. Uh, race breakdown, 82% black, 15% white, 1% Asian, uh, the rest is other or mixed. Now downtown, Greenville it's got a couple of streets one of the things I noticed is they're very wide look how wide this street is a lot of room here to maneuver let me go down a little bit and I'm gonna turn around and come back down the other main street that makes up the downtown Let's see, per capita income, 21,300. That's a year, that's $410 a week. Median household income is 32,100. That's a little over 600 a week. Well, let's see, let's talk about poverty. It's high, 32%. Uh, that's close to three times higher than the U.S. average. U.S. average is 12.8. Kids 65 and under, it's 52%. So that is a really high number. 65 and older, it's 20%. Crime is pretty high too. 32 incidents per 1,000 people. U.S. average is 23. Yeah, look at this wide downtown. I'm sure it was a lot busier in its heyday. A lot of abandoned buildings here now though. But there's still there's some shops and stores here as well. More than I thought. Uh, today is... What is today? Today is Tuesday. 
it's about 11 p.m. Uh, 76 degrees out. It's nice and warm. That's 24 Celsius. So there's all that. Yeah, family dollar. Oh, there's the courthouse right there. So I'm going to get out on foot and tell you about that. This is the Washington County Courthouse. Built in 1891. Let me get over here so you can see it better it's a beauty isn't it it's called Richardsonian Romanesque so it's uh, a guy named Henry Richardson designed it he was the architect and uh, he would combine elements of 11th and 12th century French Spanish and Italian Romanesque into his designs it's actually really unusual, really unique. You don't see a lot of this. Uh, let's see the placard here. Washington County Courthouse. Yeah, this courthouse was built 1891 in the Richardson Romanesque architectural style. Oh, remodeled 1930, editions 1950, 1976. Okay, courthouse has retained many of the original elements including stone arches and rock-faced rusticated walls. It is a beautiful, beautiful building though. A work of art. Uh, let's see, they've got a big statue here. Let's take a look at it. What do you think? Uh, 1909, looks like, uh, was when it was put here. Let's see, erected by United Daughters of the Confederacy. Uh, to commemorate the valor and patriotism of the Confederate soldiers of Washington County. Hmm. Yeah, trees are overgrown. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so there's that here on the grounds of the courthouse. Going on a bit of a an adventure drive here. Look at this. Do not dump trash in my yard. People are not listening, are they? Okay, you can see the uh, Definitely see some homes that have been abandoned. So Jamaican Jerk Shack. I like that. That's pretty cool. Ooh, yeah. Now I'm on Nelson Street, entering an area that, from what I understand, used to rival Bill Street in um, how busy it was with live acts playing blues music. Uh, it's not that way anymore. You can see that for yourself. And uh, if you ever go to Bill Street, Bill Street's still an awesome place to visit. And we've done a video there. But here in Greenville, yeah, just, uh, it's just not the same anymore. Now this place here is supposed to be really cool from what I understand still. It's still uh, kicking, but pretty much all the other clubs and juke joints on the street here, and you're kind of seeing them on the left, they've all closed down. And they got a big smoker here. Not sure. Well, I'm not sure if anything's going on there or not. Yeah, but uh, from what I understand, these were all places where you could um, listen to the blues. 
Well, we are at Gino's Hamburgers and Catfish, a staple of Greenville, Mississippi. And you got the wifey here in tow. We're gonna go try it out. All right, here's the window. I'm gonna have the uh, famous catfish sandwich. Wifey's still trying to decide what she wants. <laughs> Our food is here. I got a catfish sandwich. This is what they're known for, so I hope it's good. And some fries, and you got... And I have to try to be healthy, although I don't think it really is. It is grilled chicken. Well, we're gonna dig in and see if it's good, because this place is uh, supposedly very popular here in town. All right, I just went to the restroom. Here's a look at the restaurant. See wife over there eating her salad. I got a jukebox over there, it's really cool. How's your salad? Tastes like a fast food salad, it's okay. <laughs> oh, well, it looks good. Mine's really good, actually. Oh, but, yeah? Yeah, it's really good. They have a jukebox here, did you see that? No, I did not. Well, see, that's pretty cool, huh? Go play a song. You go play a song. I'm still eating my salad. I'm still eating my sandwich. <laughs> I love jukeboxes, though. So that looks like the real deal, too. Not one of those digital ones. Okay, everyone, so that is the end of this video. We are heading further east into Alabama, then Florida. So be looking for those. I just saw a cat. That's why I made the sudden turn. There he is. Yep. Cat sighting. Yep. There you go. Look at the camera. Yeah, he looked at me. Or looked at the camera with some disdain. And said, yeah, buddy, who cares? And then walked off.